Hey guys, it's ESPN001 here for the road to my 280th Platinum Trophy. We already saw it unlocked. Today's game was the PS3 version of Far Cry 4. Finally went back and got this, so now I've done every single Far Cry game with the exception of Far Cry 2, so that one I'm never going to do, and I will do Far Cry 5 when it comes out because it looks like a lot of fun. Uh, so Far Cry 4 is a pretty overall easy Platinum Trophy. It takes about 25 hours to do. Uh, the PS3 and PS4 versions are identical in terms of trophies, but the PS3 version does not play well at all. It's a lot less uh, fun to play. I only got it because it was way on. It was on like a good sale, including the DLC that's overpriced. So that was the main reason I bought it. So you get a few trophies here just for completing the game. All of those are for completing the game. Uh, you have to liberate all the outposts. Uh, that's pretty easy. You just go into them and kill all the enemies. Uh, you have to liberate anyone without triggering an alarm. Don't worry, it's not uh, missable because in this game you can reset the outposts, which is really nice. Uh, you have to liberate all the, or you have to liberate eight bell towers, but you definitely want to get all of them because liberating all of them will get you the buzz saw, which is a special uh, weapon. It's really, really expensive, but it's completely overpowered. It kills like everything in like two or three shots. Uh, you have to liberate two of the fortresses, but you're going to want to get all four anyway, partially because you need all this just to get extra XP. Uh, you'll have to complete some various quest types. I would suggest completing as many as you can overall just to uh, get you some more XP. I would suggest completing as many of them as you can, but it's still not too hard. You don't have to complete all of them for the trophies. You don't have to like get 100% completion either. Uh, this is a co-op trophy. You have to be the co-op partner, so you have to have joined someone else's game and then liberate an outpost to get this one. Uh, bomb defusal quests. And then you have to perform a vehicle takedown from the passenger seat of a vehicle in co-op. So there's those two co-op trophies. I'm not a big fan of that because they both require you to play in co-op, and the servers are really, really bad in this game. So I would definitely... Uh, Want to be a little bit careful about that just because the servers are so bad and you don't know how much longer they'll stay up. Uh, purchase things for the homestead, which is kind of expensive. Uh, you have to find collectibles, which are propaganda posters, masks, lost letters, wheels. Uh, you have to complete some karate fashion week quests. I would suggest completing all of these because they give you upgrades for your gear. Uh, then you have to get all the skills. A lot of people say this is like one of the last ones they get and they have a lot of trouble getting it or they have to grind for it. That did not happen to me on either version of the game. I had more than enough XP to get all the skills well before I got the Platinum in both versions. Maybe it's because I do a lot of the extra stuff, though. Uh, craft upgrades, syringes, spend money, uh, fully like equip a weapon. Uh, the elephant kills, you can grind that at a specific outpost. Uh, this one's most likely going to unlock naturally, but I think there's a place to get it if you don't. Uh, 15 enemies with rocks, that's pretty easy. The the camera one's easy. The mortar rounds, there are places you can grind it out if you have to. I got that one really early on, actually. It was fairly easy. I don't remember where I got it, though. Uh, double kill with a sniper rifle. You need one of the more powerful ones. Uh, this, <clears throat> this one is actually required if you're doing the Herc missions. Uh, this one is pretty easy. Uh, that one's pretty easy because you can just use, like, grenade launchers. That's easy. Uh, fly pretty far, run over people, uh, reach the fifth rank in the arena. That takes probably an hour or so of grinding out, uh, playing in the arena. Uh, you have to finish a public match in all three game modes, which is really annoying because there's three of them and not many people play them. You're probably going to want to try to boost that. Uh, play any top-rated map in the map browser. That's very easy. That doesn't necessarily need as much online. And then you get to the DLC. If the DLC wasn't so expensive, a lot more people would have it because you basically you just have to complete it and complete the side quests there, and you should get all the trophies, because you'll kill enough yetis along the way. So just complete all the upgrade quests and complete the DLC, and you should get everything for it. It's an easy DLC. It's actually pretty fun, but once you get, like, the buzzsaw, the yetis aren't really even a challenge. So with that, level 53, 75%, 13,241 total trophies, 280 platinums, 1,480 golds, 3316 silvers, 8165 bronzes. So... Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you for my next Platinum. And like I said, that is almost the entire Far Cry series 100%ed.